Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Ben. I work with Teeter Automotive. Today we are going to be going over how we port and polish our cylinder heads and house. To start, um, what we do is we end up pounding out the guides uh, to kind of make it a little bit easier when we're actually taking out the material. Over the course of this video, I'm just going to be going over pretty much our process of like how we end up doing it, uh, and what are the benefits, and what actually goes into uh, porting and polishing. The tools that we are actually going to be using today um, is going to be our half inch burr from Head Game Motor Works. Now this tool um, actually takes out material really quick. I highly recommend if you have a spare cylinder head, something that is you know junk or toasted that you can't really use, I would recommend practicing on that before you decide to do it on a cylinder head that you're going to be using. Um, Goodson's uh, cylinder head stands uh, utilize a drop light to kind of, you know, just fish right underneath the cylinder head so that way it actually gives us a full field of view. Um, what I like to do first when it comes to porting and polishing is I usually like to use the tool and kind of go at the walls first and kind of just clean up some of the casting marks and kind of just bring that wall out just a little bit. Some of the benefits for porting and polishing are primarily just to open up the diameter of the intake ports and also the exhaust ports uh, to pretty much increase the CFM uh, should help with power. Now the cylinder heads that we are going to be doing here today um, are actually going to be going out to one of our customers that is actually going to be uh, putting these on his drag car. When it comes to porting and polishing, um, easiest way to do it is you basically want to use the weight of the tool itself and kind of work from back to front and bring the work towards you. And from side to side, so there's our, you know, our field of view. And we're just gonna be going from side to side and kind of just bringing the work towards us until it's all blended in and there's no high spots, there's no um, trenches and any bumps or anything else like that. So you realistically wanna make sure that the entire um, area that you're working with uh, is even and as smooth as you can possibly get it. All right, so let's go ahead and put this guy back on. Put on our protection. I just took a video of And let's go ahead and do one of the ports that I haven't touched uh, so that you can kind of get a better understanding of what I was trying to explain, so if you want to come over on, this, on the other side, so you can kind of see right here, that you have that casting mark, so we'll just start the tool and see if we can clean all that up and give you a better understanding. Pretty much when you are done um, taking material out, um, it should look something like this. So pretty much what we use uh, for the polishing step is um, larger uh, cartridge rolls uh, to kind of help pertain the shape of the actual port itself. Um, and then for the smaller ones, we also kind of move down to, you know, ones that are basically half the size. Uh, primarily because you don't want to use the same bit throughout the entire thing. Otherwise, you could potentially take out too much material and then, you know, you're doing all this work for nothing. Um, I use a 80 grit for the large cartridge roll and then a 60 grit for the small one to kind of get into these, you know, hard to get into some of these hard to reach areas. But other than that, I mean, these ones work just fine, especially if you're trying to do a circle. Um, it kind of just helps pertain that shape a lot better than you know, just going at it with a small cartridge roll. It's basically gonna be the same thing as when you're actually porting and taking the material out. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to stick to, you know, the wall, kind of like you did when you were taking the material out, and then go to the other wall. And then once you see all these rough edges and everything um, that are primarily smoothed out, 
you can then move on to the uh, next wall and then pretty much repeat that step over and over again until you're basically happy with the results. And then another thing I also forgot to mention as well, um, when you are using the cartridge rolls, you don't ever want to use the whole thing, uh, primarily because you will burn through this so fast. Um, because all it really is is just rolled up sandpaper. So usually what we do is we just use the tip. Um, you also have a lot better control when you end up using the tip as well. So you can kind of see on this wall right here, you see how, you know, it doesn't look like this anymore, primarily because with the sandpaper, we just took out all these imperfections and rough edges. Uh, this is primarily what you want. Now, what we end up doing after this is move up to a 120 grit, uh, and then pretty much polish off with a scotch bright pad. Uh, and that's where we end up getting our, you know, our Instagram photos, Facebook ads, and stuff like that. Um, but afterwards, what we end up doing, so this side, um, this is after the scotch bright and everything. So this is primarily where we would have our guy come by and actually take our photos. Um, but afterwards, what we end up doing is take a little uh, flapper wheel of, you know, 120 grit or maybe even 220, which is actually what I have um, over there. And we put it in this little butterfly mandrel and kind of do the same thing that we have uh, with the scotch braid. And what we end up doing is we just take it and roll it up kind of like so, shove it in the port, and then pretty much turn our, um, our air on and then just go up and down a couple times. And that pretty much helps um, give it a nice, even look. Um, and then that's pretty much it. All right, so that concludes our video on boarding and polishing. Um, tune in next time and watch us actually port and polish a cylinder head for a 2015 Volkswagen GTI.